Jammu and Kashmir in India is facing a sudden surge in terror attacks. The Union Territory has witnessed four such attacks in the region in the last eight days. The attacks come close on the heels of a government formed by an alliance taking over in the territory where terrorists have fought security forces for decades and thousands of people have been killed. In a tragic escalation of violence, an army convoy was ambushed by terrorists in the general area of Baramullah's Bhuta Patri on Thursday evening. The Indian Army's Chinar Corp in a post on X confirmed that an exchange of fire happened between soldiers and terrorists. The People's Anti-Fascist Front, an offshoot of jaish e mohammed has claimed responsibility. According to reports, the attack could have been part of a potential infiltration attempt, heightening concerns of renewed cross-border incursions. In the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir especially, our efforts are concentrating on breaking the cycle of violence, dismantling the terror ecosystem, empowering the youth and women, facilitating education, promoting sports, reviving the rich historical and cultural legacy of the region. The core of this strategy is to strengthen the relationship amongst the citizens and soldiers while encouraging nationalist and mainstream narratives, particularly among the youth. The Union Territory is witnessing a spurt in attack on non-locals and security personnel. On Thursday, in another incident, terrorists shot at and injured a labourer in the Batkun Tral area of Pulwama district. The injured labourer was identified as Pritam Singh, a resident of Uttar Pradesh. Earlier on Sunday, a doctor and six construction workers were killed when terrorists attacked a tunnel construction site on the Srinagar Leh National Highway in the Ganderbal district. Former Chief Minister Farooq Abdullah blamed neighbouring Pakistan for the attacks. We are not going to be part of Pakistan. Then why are they doing this to disrupt our future? They should look towards their country and the issues out there. I appeal to them to stop all this and find a way of friendship. And if they don't do this, there will be problems. Security forces are carrying out a massive search operation along the line of control in Gulmarg. Officials say the forces are using human and technical intelligence inputs to aid the search operation, which has been launched to trace and neutralize the terrorists behind the attack. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.